Uh, good morning students uh, today i am going to talk about the data center infrastructure the data center infrastructure um, okay basically it in, like the organization maintains the data data centers to provide the centralized data processing uh, capabilities across the enterprises the data center house and manage large amount of data the data centers infrastructure okay, it is going to include two components that is hardware components as well as the software components the hardware components um, such as our network devices backup uh, like power backups as well as the storage systems the same thing our software uh, components uh, it may be applications or operating systems uh, and um, and management software also okay and uh, um, yeah, and our uh, data center infrastructure okay it is also includes the environment uh, environmental control such as our um, uh, our air conditioning and um, uh, and ventilators uh, as well as the uh, fire, fire suppressions uh, also okay then then uh, like second point is the data center infrastructure the large uh, the large organization oftenly maintain the more than one data centers to distribute the data processing workloads and 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 it is also provide the backup if a disaster occurs so this is the main functionality of the data center infrastructure then second one is our data center infrastructure okay it is going to contain the uh, five core elements okay that is uh, first one is applications second one is data ma database management system and third one is host or compute uh, computer uh, or it may be a node okay then third one is net uh, sorry fourth one is network and fifth one is storage so we will see what is that one by one mm, see you look at this see these all are our five components uh, then before that i am going to explain one by one all the four elements okay what is it the first of all is applications the applications okay which is nothing but uh, okay it is going to provide the many number of computing operations means uh, like uh, i am going to tell okay it is uh, it uh, the applications are okay user friendly uh, devices or or it may be user friendly interface means uh, like whatever we have to access the uh, data okay through the computer that is one of the applications okay it may be applications it may be a google or it may be whatsapp or or it is a simple example for uh, for transferring the email and receiving the email that is also one of the applications and second one is database management system the database management system okay it is going to provide the structured way to store the data in logically okay that uh, the, um, that data okay we are going to uh, interrelated to the uh, tables okay because our database okay full of we are organized uh, in the table format then third one is uh, compute or host okay a computer or a host okay it is going to compute in the different types of platforms okay that it may be hardware platform as well as the software platform to run our applications okay that uh, like uh, all the applications we are going to maintaining our databases then fourth one is network the network okay it is going to provide the uh, path I means data path to communicate uh, to, to communicate over the uh, network uh, as well as the different types of devices in the um, uh, in the particular network then third one is storage the storage a device that stores the data uh, data it may be permanently as well as the temporarily the second one is say this is what our data center um, like a, yeah data center infrastructure okay it is going to contain the example of an online order transaction system okay the on the like the online order transaction system okay it is going to contain uh, you look at this uh, see you look at this okay it is going to contain the five things that is client okay as well as uh, lan okay lan or wan connections okay then third one is server okay that is os uh, okay that every data we are going to store it in our dbms okay then uh, you <coughs> 
the online order transaction system uh, uh, like uh, the customer places an order uh, through an client machine connected over a lan or wan wan uh, uh, to a host running uh, order processing application the client access the dbms on the host uh, through the applications to provide the order related informations okay the order related information such as customer name address uh, or payment mode or product okay so on so okay the dbms it is going to uses the host operating system to write this data uh, to the our particular network devices okay whatever the like uh, like we are going to write uh, that particular uh, storage network it is going to provide to communicate the link between the host and the storage array to transport the requirements so this is what happening our uh, like online order transaction system okay like once the like uh, order order will be dispatched to the our particular customer okay then all the data it is going to record it into the our storage array I means see this data okay everything it is going to record it in this array format so this is what our or uh, like online order uh, transaction system then second one like the next topic is that is key characteristics of data center okay the key characteristics of data center okay it is going to like basically like uh, we are going to categorize it into uh, six uh, sorry seven um, keys that is uh, first one is inter data integrity availability security capacity scalability performance as well as the manageability okay then okay, we will discuss one by one what is all those thing factors in the our data center key characteristics the first one is availability the a data center should ensure the availability of the data means like whenever we are we required we are we, we can access the data from like um, from particular apps or, or from particular device or from particular server then second one is uh, like un unavailability means the information okay it is not available in that particular cloud or it may be server okay that we call it as the unavailability for example uh, like financial services okay this is not available any apps or any yeah, like any storage devices so like uh, this method we call it as the unavailability uh, data then second one is security yes like security is very important okay because unauthorized person okay they cannot access our data okay whatever we are going store that data they cannot able to access so we have to provide the uh, security okay the security of that particular uh, data okay as well as it is going to establish the policies as well as the integrations uh, like integration to provide uh, yeah to prevent the unauthorized persons then third one is scalability the scalability is uh, okay the businesses growth often requires deploying the more server yeah, more servers okay yeah, yeah new applications and additional databases the data center resources should yeah yeah should um should, uh, it should be a okay based on the scale or or it may be uh, based on the requirements okay uh, without interrupting the business operations then fourth one is uh, uh, performance all the elements of the data center should provide the op uh, like optimal uh, performance based on the required service level then data integrity okay the data integrity it is going to refers to mechanisms such as, such as uh, yeah error corrections uh, as well as the parity bits okay which uh, which, uh, which is going to like uh, ensure that data it is going to store and retrieve the exactly it was uh, it, like it was received or not then capacity the capacity okay the data center um, it is going to operations required are uh, re required based on the resources to store and process the large amount of data very efficiently okay then third one like the means the last one is okay, manageability the manageability means like all the data uh, like all the data uh, the data center okay it is it is going to provide uh, uh, like a very easy very easy and integrated uh, management of all the requirement any elements okay then manageability it can be achieved through the uh, automation